semi-atoms Coast to coast Good evening, America, and welcome to the first ever edition of Coast to Coast with your host, Earl Sanders. Tonight's episode will be called The Fall from Grace, Nick Morello Edition. You see, Nick Morello was a normal 17-year-old high school student until he had a summer love, and drastically everything changed. He lost his friends, his family, and soon to be his job, all before his eyes. So please stay tuned on Coast to Coast Thursday nights, 9 o'clock. Thank you. And we're back from coast to coast, from LA to Jersey, back up to Boston, down to Florida, up to Spokane, Washington, with our next guest, Connor Galvin. Everybody give me a round of applause. Okay, all right, all right. Connor's a crowd favorite here today. So, Connor, I have a few quick questions about Nick Morella. I'm going to give you your own rant on Nick. Just look into the camera and tell everyone how you feel. Tell, how, tell everyone in America what you think of Nick Morella. Two words. Line stepper. What is a line stepper, Connor? Can you explain that, please? He steps over the line too much. He, he just steps over the line. I can't even explain it. I, I think what Connor's trying to say is Nick always pushes it one more. Instead of just stopping, he pushes the envelope and he crosses the line from friendship to hate ship. And all of us are in hate ship right now. Here at NBC, Connor Gallon is a very respected man, and I have never seen his face so turned upside down when his dog was brutally beaten by Nick Morella. Can you please tell me about the incident? All right, so it happened. I'm outside my house, coming back from walking the dog. Nick walks by. What's up, Nick? Gives me an attitude. Give me an attitude for it. Uh, so I'm joking around with my dog. I like, sick him. My dog likes to like, fake attack somebody. It's a sick and bars. It's like, dog out of here. Bam! Like, what the hell, bro? And I was like, what the hell you gonna do about it? So, boom! Uppercut. He's out. Depends. Depends on? The situation. On the situation. The situation. Breaks up with Emily, comes back to us right away. Not a chance. Absolutely no chance. Maybe gives us a couple, maybe a couple months later, he kind of settles things out, calls us up, apologizes for everything he's done. Maybe. But, most likely, nah. There you have it. I mean, Nick Morales, see his friends? We're turning our back on him. He's not the same person he used to be. Um, Connor, do you, remember, do you recall an incident when uh, one Nick Morella was highly, highly intoxicated and we were there for him? And then the next day he ditched us to hang out with Emily? That's a slap in the face. It's a slap in the face. Can you, can you describe how you felt at that moment when he woke up from being highly intoxicated, ran into his car and drove to Emily's house without saying thank you, goodbye, nothing? When we called him, he shut his phone off. How did you feel calling and hearing, hi, it's Nick Morello, I'm not here right now, bye? Well, that's how, that's how it is with him. Hoes before bros with Nick. When, that, when he did that, that's when the respect level started falling down, going down the stairs. Um. Hmm. With his respect level, I, I'm I'm just lost for words right now because I, was, I can't. I as can't, you can see, Connor, I he, can't even describe it. He's so upset he doesn't know where to go right now. <laughs> Listen, before things get too emotional here, we're gonna take a quick break. Coming up next, we have Joe Nelson, ex best friend of Nick. <laughs> 